to 58. Behold, I show you a mystery. Praise God. We not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the least trump, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall shall be rise, incorruptible, and we will we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible and this mortal must put on immorality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immorality then shall be brought to pass this the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O oh, death where is thy sting O oh, brave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sting, and the strength of sin is in the law. But thanks be to God, which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding Amen. in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain, in the Lord. Amen. 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 Your labor is not in vain in the Lord, Shaila God. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man a card as his work shall be. That's why we are saying to you that are in Christendom especially don't give up. Don't give in. Work for your labor shall be rewarded. For eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Neither have it entered into the heart of men what God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed these things to us by his spirit. Amen. Amen. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. That's why we are saying unto you that is outside of Christendom today to repent. For the kingdom of God has come even unto you today. The kingdom of God has come near beside you today, and it's the Father. God Almighty, good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom. I speak to everyone that is outside of this glorious kingdom today. To come, he invite you to come. Come softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling our sinners. Come on. You might be wondering where is home. Home is in the presence of God. That is where home is. For we all proceeded from God. He has given us a soul and all souls belongs unto him. The Bible says, Out of the dust God found man and blow into man nostril the breath of life and man became a living soul. So that's who you are. And Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost. And what was it that was lost? It was the soul. And Jesus came to redeem the souls of sinful man. In order to reconcile back man unto himself. To reconnect back man to the true source of life. For we read the soul that sinned it shall die and we have all sin and fall short of the glory of God. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying right now that the glorious light of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ 
might shine unto you to give you the knowledge of the truth that is to be founded in Christ Jesus our Lord. For the angel of the Lord, or should I say, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive according to the scripture and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. That is the snatching away of the saints. That is the rapture. And it can happen at any given time. For no man know the hour. No man know the day. No man know the time when the Lord shall return. But today, this is what I'm saying to as many that are under the sound of the influence of my voice. Behold, I come quickly, say yet the Lord, and my reward is with me. My home is in heaven, just waiting for me. And when I get there, how oh, happy I will be. My home is in heaven, no bills to pay. My Jesus paid it, paid it all for me. Again, I say my home is in heaven, just waiting for me. And when I get there, who oh, happy I will be. My home is in heaven, no bills to pay. My Jesus paid it, paid it all for me. Today, for adventure, you don't know him as your Lord and Savior. Today, you can know him as a personal Lord and Savior. And you can sing this song that I'm singing with conviction. Because we see that the thief in his dying breath, he was pardoned while he was up on the cross. And Jesus said, today I tell you the truth, you shall be in paradise with me. So it's never too late if you are in the land of the living. Because he's only just a prayer away from you. And the Bible said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Today you can call upon the name of the Lord. And the Bible said, The seventy returned with great joy. They were overjoyed. They were very happy. And they said, Lord, even the devils, the demons, the unclean spirit, the foul spirit, the wicked spirit, they are subjected unto us through your name. And Jesus said unto them, Behold, I beheld, I saw Satan like a lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and over all the works of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you, notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirit are subjected unto you. But rather rejoice because your name is written in heaven. Because your name is written in heaven. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. There is an hefty price to pay for rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ. All my unsafe friends hear me and hear me well. There is a penalty attached to sin. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord. And see if Jesus Christ take note. It is not the Father will that any should perish. But that all should come to the place of repentance. 
And one in a certain place have said, How oh, can they escape if they should neglect so great a salvation which were first spoken by the Lord and confirmed to us by them that have heard him? I announce to someone today. I announce to everyone today that if your name is not written in heaven, then it is written somewhere else. Yes, it is written somewhere else. So if it is not in heaven, then it must be in, you know, what I am about to see. But hear ye the good news this day. For God so loved the world as you may have heard time and time again. Hallelujah. God so love you because you are the world. You are the people that he gave his best. He gave his most prized possession. Yeah, he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. Today, this can be your portion. Amen. Today you can become a benefactor of his grace. Today you can be greatly benefited from Christ's accomplishment. Christ's achievement today you can become a recipient of eternal life and all you got to do is to believe the report Amen. to accept the provision that God has made readily available that he has provided for your sin for sin is the problem. And the place where Christ has gone to prepare no sin can enter therein. But the blood of Jesus is sufficient enough to cleanse you, to purge you, to purify, to sanctify, to justify you Amen. from every form of unrighteousness for by his blood he have purchased the redemption of mankind mm -hmm. that's why jesus become the guarantor that's why he become the door we the access point for anyone to gain an entrance into the everlasting kingdom. I see that my time is going. And the other things that are left to be said. But I think I will cut it short. Because I want to pray for the people of Ukraine and Russia. We want to bring the crisis before Almighty God. Because we are very much aware that many people that are caught up in this conflict don't know the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. And if they die without Christ, that means they have perished. And God has said in his word, he take no pleasure in the death of a sinner. Mm -hmm. But that the sinner should repent and live. Mm -hmm. So when you turn to Jesus Christ, you are saying yes to life. Amen. And God is poor life. God is saying, choose ye life. He said, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation. I laid a stone, a tri stone, a precious kind of stone, a sure foundation. 
Jesus is the sure foundation. So people across the globe, right around the world, wherever you might be tuning in, uh, whenever you will watch this telecast, hear ye the word of the Lord. Behold, I come and I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Make no mistake, Jesus Christ is coming back again. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray, intercede on behalf of the crisis and the things that are happening across Ukraine. The appalling acts of atrocities that is being committed on both sides against their fellow human being. Because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And God, goodwill toward man. And it is peace. The angel said, glory to God in the highest. Yeah. Peace and goodwill toward man. So God's intention toward man is peace and goodwill. No wonder the gospel is the gospel of peace. So let us lift up our voice and pray for Ukraine, pray for Russia. Pray for the citizens, the inhabitants, those that are caught up in this conflict. Pray from your heart that God will intervene. And in such a dark time, His light will still shine. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty and the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mashe kalaba sata ye kalaba sata ya kalaba sata. Yea, we are those who are called by your name. And you said, if the people who are called by your name will humble themselves and pray to thee, we choose to do so. To pray, knowing that you hear and you answer prayer. We ask for your divine intervention. We ask that you will address the issues in regarding to Ukraine and Russia. Let there be a de-escalation of the crisis. In the name of Jesus, let peace return to that region. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the conflict be contained. Let there be no spillover into the neighboring country, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let there be no miscalculation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The Lord, you will send help from your sanctuary. Dispatch ministering spirit. Right now, dear God, arise with healing in your wing. In the name of Jesus, you sent the word. The word didn't return void, but it accomplished the purpose wherefore it was sent let such a word be sent this day in the name of Jesus isn't you the God that is more than enough and there is nothing too difficult to add where you are concerned isn't you the God that created all things isn't you the God that is almighty all powerful all things lay bare and open and naked unto your eyes. You see all things, you know all things. You are the God of wisdom. We ask, so God, the Lord, you might step into the situation and begin to prove yourself strong. Let your name be glorified, dear, in, in the 
the name of Jesus, as we desire result. Yea, O oh God, as we desire your mercy to locate as many that are despairing of life right now, those that are desperate, O oh God, those that are greatly distressed because of the situation that they find themselves in. In the name of Jesus, rescue, heal, and deliver. We ask in the name of Jesus, Mashi Bivoli de Biba. Nimbiba ba kete, bibi kalaba, mama ma kete, ye kalaba sata, ye kalaba sata. Didn't your word said you can do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that is at work in us? May you do so in the name of Jesus. Mashi bivoli de biba, me mama ma kutum, bogi kalaba, me kalaba, ye kalaba se, le biba koto she bivoli de biba kinte biba, me. We trust and we believe in the name of Jesus. That you are the God that hear and answer prayer. And you can do exceedingly abundantly above all we are asking and thinking. According to the power that is at work within us. In the name of Jesus, let your name be thou glorified. Mama, she be be little be ba. Milete bi ba do to so bi 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 kete ye karaba mama kete mimi karaba samba let war cease in this region in the name of Jesus let it come to an end in the name of Jesus let peace reign again because Jesus is the Prince of Peace we declare and proclaim the kingship the lordship over that region in the name of Jesus mashe bi we bind and arrest every territorial spirit in the name of Jesus Makata every Prince of Persia, Mama Mashe Kalaba, Mama Kete, Momo Moshe Bibi Lede Biba, Makente Biba, No Tombo Koto. We say, Have you one way, O God? In the name of Jesus, let your will be done, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy abound. Let your mercy prevail over the situation. In the name of Jesus, do exceedingly abundantly above all we are asking and thinking according to the power that is at work in us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Am Nazareth, we thank you and we bless you. And we praise your holy and awesome name. It's the one like you, Lord. Thank Amen. You, Jesus, Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. We thank him again. We bless Amen. him. We praise him. Amen. And as we congregate in this manner, we are assured in our spirit, man, that it's Amen. never in vain. Because the Bible says we are two or three are gathered, he is there in our midst. So we know the Bible said the prayer of the righteous avail it much. And we are not depending upon our own righteousness because the Bible says we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The Lord have become our righteousness. Amen. So we come with the confidence, with the assurance that when we pray, Amen. our God will hear and Amen. he will do as his counsel because he works everything after the counsel of his own will. Amen. Amen. So we just pray and believe that God will do as he see fit to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.